It's a lightweight bout between the prodigy BJ Penn and Khabib Nurmagomedov. representing the American Kickboxing Academy, San Jose, California, a man who I believe is the most dominant force in the game at present, UFC lightweight champion, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You know, for Khabib Nurmagomedov, he's the guy that has dominated every person that he's faced inside the octagon. He has a great Sambo background, but it's all the takedowns that he mixes well together that allows him to gain top position, and when he's on top, his ground control is second to none. He can move from position to position seamlessly. And when he's on top, he's constantly doing damage. It's the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov that is his biggest and best attribute. And what's crazy to me is to hear you tell stories about him in training oh. that we haven't even seen the tip of the iceberg when it John, comes to what he can do in there. J.A., I don't believe that we have seen the finished version. I think when he's in the octagon, he's fighting at about 75% of what I see on a daily basis at the gym. Well, history is going to look back fondly on Khabib Nurmagomedov, but every time he competes, he puts his status as one of the greatest fighters of all time on the line, and that status, of course, on the line yet again here tonight. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have at the UFC DC, and if anyone is well-equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop him. He just has to keep him away, because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a grappler holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nimagomedov. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 14 losses, and two draws. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Wanaku, Hilo, Hawaii. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC lightweight champion and the former UFC welterweight Champion of the world, the prodigy, BJ Penn. And with the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? All right, DC, round one is upon us, and if you are somebody that enjoys the ground fighting game, this matchup could be custom made for you. This fight is made for you, but does the grapple try to keep this fight standing? Does he just throw the jiu-jitsu fighter down and then back out? Because even though he's a phenomenal grappler, he will be at a quick entry here. Nice single leg entry, rotates ahead outside to a high crotch. Oh, oh my God, he switched the lock to a high crotch, rotated him and took him for a ride. That was a big takedown. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Oh, collar tie. Straight right is there. And there comes the separation now. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the defender. Big leg kick land. 
takedown here. He kept on trying, stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point, I'm gonna be able to take him down, and that's exactly the way it played out. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about it. Oh, kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. Right under the elbow. That was Andy Clean. Got the single collar tie. Oh, nice right here. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Quick entry to get Man, him on a single. That is a great single. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Single collar tie. Good combination there by Penn. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. Real nice body kick tonight. Land there by Nermago Menop. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this. And that's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over in Dagestan. Nermago Menop gets caught with that punch. Oh, single power tie here. Beautiful entry as he gets the takedown late in the round two, which could have an impact on the judges potentially. Absolutely. You want to leave an impression in the... Wow. Huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Sit down, bud. That was awesome. Great round. Another round in the books there. Everything you're throwing is landing. I want you to stay heavy with... Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? All right, fight. round two. Well-placed kick there by DJ Penn. Straight right, he misses. Ooh, looks like that shot was blocked. The left hook lands on the counter. Beautiful body kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, and he lands another takedown here. Just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. The Olympians gotta like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By feeding him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep it. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Oh, nice job, Houston. He said he's out. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. That Gets hit with a kick. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Head kick. Plans a nice one, too. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. 
jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to, tries to go forward and you use no jab to stop him in his tracks, he's doing a great job of fighting. Another takedown attempt here. It seems like every time he's gone to the well, it's been there tonight. When you're that successful with any one thing, why would you change it? He's gonna shoot for another takedown, and I would almost be willing to bet he's gonna secure it. I'll take your action. Okay. Yeah, he fixed it all up. Oh, what a punch. Marco Medov gets the takedown late in the round. That's useful. Engage in a single collar tie in a very close round. A takedown like that might be the difference. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, so he gets knocked down, but not out. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. A huge round on the other side. He had him hurt very bad. He found the shot. He got exactly what he wanted. When he saw the opening, he jumped on it, and he hurt his opponent very bad. If he can get back to that one more time, he may end the night. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking gear tonight. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Nurmagomedov's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. All right, fighting out of the clinch here, and not for long. Nice trip to get the take. Yeah, sometimes, John, you have a guy that is just so versatile. If they can do these takedowns in so many ways, he started on full display right there with that trip. Well, the strike lands there, but doesn't do a ton of damage because the fighter's cooked. Yeah, he's done. He's thrown everything with it with absolute power. And now it does not matter how many times you jam on that x button, it will not do any damage. Just missed with the left there. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Penn. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Guppy. Great time on that beautiful takedown. All right, late in the fight now, DC. The submission specialist clearly is going to be on the wrong end of the scorecards if we get there. you got to get going. It does not matter if you get reversed to the top. It does not matter if you get the guard pass. you got to get first. You're not submitting the most by causing action. You can latch onto something to end the fight. What a punch. And they separate. Nice entry there as he gets another takedown. And I know his opponent has confidence in his ability to get back up. But I got an idea. How about don't get taken down in the first place? How about defend yourself? Now, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Bottom fighter trying to connect. And he's out. Nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Penn. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really put his opponent on those. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, strong punch there by Namago. All right, so as many expected, this fight goes the distance, but a lot of action in there, particularly when it comes to his offensive wrestling. I mean, he wrestled at a really high level tonight. He knew that his opponent was going to get back to his feet if he got taken down. But he was so committed to the takedown, to the pressure, to the grind, they say, that he was able to really wear him down and get the victory. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. 
Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges scored this contest 30-27. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Kabir!